everyone, welcome to Voice of the Nation special roundtable as we are here in Samui Island. So during the past few years, we all know that Samui Island relies heavily on tourism industry and the past few years, this island has been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Many restaurants and many businesses have closed down, but there are few people behind me who dare to do something against the trends. So here with me are the owner of the Sapi and Sata restaurant, one of the must try restaurants when you are in Samui. And believe me or not, this restaurant has its open not even three years yet. So please welcome Kun Boot, Kun Job, and Kun Nai. So at the Kunwood, so COVID-19 pandemic for the last few years has been an issue for many businesses on the Samui Island. And uh, we can see that we don't have tourists visiting that much like before. But you decided to open this restaurant. What made you decide to do that? Uh, actually, uh, we never think about to open the restaurant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, but our career is about, we are like, real estate uh, we develop uh, real estate for foreign like by building apartment we also had apartment and we also do also the spa uh -huh. but when the COVID is coming uh, Scott Samui we are depending on the tourism, tourism and for the foreigner however when when it's coming so we we are thinking that we build all this building already we have five buildings here. We built already and we're thinking that actually and we want to build for rent. Mm -hmm. Other people rent. Mm -hmm. Are there anyone interested in renting? No, nobody interested. <laughs> it's renting because uh, it's COVID and everybody, you know. Try to save the money. Yeah, save money and many people move out from at the island, you know. Every business. Every business goes down yeah. and we're thinking that if we let the building empty, uh, it's what been, can we do? Yeah, we, we do nothing and we still lost the money. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking that, and I, my wife, we're thinking that maybe we have to try something new. Opening a restaurant? Yes, because everybody has to eat. We're thinking right, like but that. There are so many restaurants on the island already. It's also many restaurants and we are thinking that many restaurants are so close. You know right. that it's uh, some many restaurant course and we think that this is maybe the gap that we open we if we cost also you know we we, we not if we don't do the restaurant so we don't know how, how to, what was the carry i don't know who is your target when you decide to open the restaurant we do the southern restaurant because our target is the thai people thai because people? no in some way, in some way also <laughs> But no foreigner. I think for okay. in, for Samui people. For, for Samui people. Mm. For Samui people. But um, what is your secret for your business to let's say you know the restaurant is fully booked and yep. there's a lot of uh, visitors coming every day. Yep. And some famous people as well. <laughs> yes. The secret that uh, first of all we just open like one one and two two shop mm -hmm. one is a restaurant we thinking that just target for for the local, for the people? local people and just open for a few table mm. and we open for the cafe for for also also for the local just to serve during the day yeah but we also connecting door we have the connecting door so we can you know serve more people is we think of that and if you ask me the secret that we when we open this restaurant we never close it we never you don't close. Have day off. No, we never close. We open every day, because in some restaurant local, you know, uh, some open and in the very hard time, uh, yeah. the heavy of the COVID, they close. But we're thinking that if we close and if customer want to eat certain food, they come and they say that restaurant is closed. I think maybe they feel not happy what is your marketing strategy and, and maybe just to add on i i would actually say like the like some of the secrets we have comes through a couple of things right like one is you know they have plenty of southern food 
in here. Oh, around Samui. Yeah, right. Um, first of all, the flavor needs to be good. It needs it needs to stand out in mm -hmm. terms of how it tastes, how it's presented on the dish. I think like that's one. Um, second is is the service pretty much. I, I think we invested so much in our staff um, that that the service is probably like one of the very best um, amongst um, the restaurants here in Samui. Mm -hmm. I've heard that um, Pinoy, um, she's the one who, who loves to try and eat yes. and then she picks a um, very, very good um, ingredients by herself right, every right, day. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. That's that also this, the main thing that we also pick up the ingredient or material is very, we try to say that, we, we also have to say that we try to, to select the, the best the best ingredient. The best ingredient, and we, we think that if we can go the best, I think the people can, they they have they, they want to pay, they 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 also they can pay. Maybe you feel that our restaurant for the uh, comparison with the local restaurant is made a little bit Pricey. expensive, pricing more higher than other people. But if they coming to look at in the detail. Uh -huh. The, the material and the portion, I think, is bigger than other. What is your marketing strategy? Um, we, well, I think we rely a lot on word of mouth, um, word of mouth? And, and also um, referral mm -hmm. by um, repeating customers, I would say. I, I think social media also helps yeah. us yeah, to a certain yeah. extent um, just to reach a wider audience of, you know, not just visiting <coughs> tourists, but also <laughs> even expats living on the island. I think, but at the end of the day, I would say, we would say, it boils down to word of mouth that, that gets the restaurant, yeah. you know, like Did going. Did you expect that when you first opened the restaurant, it's going to be like this fully packed all the time? We, we never expect that. Never expected that. But that's my nephew, he, he said that the word of, mouth, word of mouth is very important because if you, if you like shoot the media, on the Facebook or you know by the advertising if they come just only one time if you are restaurant and the food is not good it's not uh, the good taste and the good ingredient they just come here only one time but why many people they but not recommend to other people mm -hmm. to their friend to their parent and they're coming back again again and again that's why I think that the, the main secret of our of our restaurant is that uh, you have to have a good taste, good material. Everything should be the best and the good, you know. And people will be coming back again. And every hotel is a recommend to to come here. Yes, to come here. To come yes. Here. Uh -huh. Like one example, we actually have um, a Canadian couple. I think a month ago they were traveling in Thailand. They, they decided to spend a couple of weeks in Samui. Oh well, they 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 they're our repeated customers. They keep coming back day and day and day and day. Oh. I think at the end of the day it comes it's down to consistency mouth. quality, mm -hmm. how good the food tests, the service we provide. Can you please talk about uh, how was the situation during uh, for the past two years when the COVID-19 hit this island? Uh, what were you doing back then? Were your business affected? Before we do here, before, yes. yeah, we, before we do here, uh, we have the spa. Uh, I think and we have property for rent. Yeah, also the property for rent. Center of uh -huh. We have a uh, building for rent and a spa, and we have three or four, uh, about four branches of the spa. But when we have to close, right? we have to close. Uh -huh. And even now, and the government said it, you can open the spa, and it's okay now. But we are. Our target is about the tourists, mm. uh, yeah. Chinese, uh, foreigner, Israel, you, you know, not, not, not Thai people, mm. not Thai people. So we still cause because it's a few people of this coming. Because there's no, no tourists yeah, coming. No tourists coming for the mm -hmm. foreigner. Mm -hmm. So we still cause. It's still hard time for us for the spa. But it may be the good time for us for the very strong for the Thai people. But can you say that? Um your decision to open this restaurant is a kind of a sustained um, decision maybe because you are targeting the local people as well. So you don't rely on just uh, foreigners 
or tourists from abroad. Yep. It's here as uh, local people, but the local people, firstly, we we thinking about the got some local people, uh. but but actually it's just a few. But the main main customer is a uh, local people, Thai people. Thai people from, from Bangkok. From Bangkok. Bangkok is uh, the main. When they come here. When they come here, they have to be here. They have to be check in here. Check they in have here. to be take picture here. You know, they have to be here. One of the things that they have to do, they have to do in Koh Samui. Mm -hmm. One of the things. And we have mini superstar. Oh, we have <laughs> a lot of superstar here. Mm. For the like, Dala or superstar in Fair Thailand people. coming. Yes. So we think, we, we actually, we don't know how, when, we, we never invite, invite them to be here. Mm -hmm. They come to be here by, by themselves. And they enjoy the food. They yeah, enjoy the they enjoy food, food and yeah. recommend to other, you know, superstar yeah. and to be come here and, you know, word by mouth. Very important. Um, the COVID is not finished yet. Yeah. Do you have any um, future plan if the COVID uh, night well, if the COVID um, pandemic situation in Thailand get worsened again, because as we know that this island relies on uh, tourists, and also maybe I don't know, one day if the island may shut down for um, for non-local for non-local Samui people, do you have any alternative plans for this? Uh, actually, we passed the hard time like that you say before, like the last year, uh -huh. about after the yeah, Songkran, April. April. April last, not yeah. last year. Yeah. The airport uh, shut down. Airport shut down. You know, people, a lot of you know pandemic of the virus. What did you do? We still have to open the restaurant, but we have to to low to, to low lower the cost. Lower the cost. Yeah, to lower the cost by, we asked about staff discount. Uh, not this. We try to discount promotion. promotion. We try to do promotion, mm -hmm. but actually, it's not. Not, I, I can say it's not work too much for us. It's okay. It's okay, but we it's have to ask our staff to mm -hmm. to rotate. Right. For like everybody have to stop maybe stop working for ten day, mm -hmm. something like that, and work only twenty day per month and ten day off, and we we can lower the the wages. Mm -hmm. Can we actually? keep all the staff with us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think that's very important mm -hmm. because it shows the resilience and how invested we are mm -hmm. in, in, in the staff that we have. So yeah, we will still keep the staff, but we just like ask them for cooperate. But you open every day with delivery every as day. well? Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Did you have a lot of customers back then? No, at, at that time it's, it's just a few, not not too much because yeah. the, the airport shut down. No yeah. tourist about, people. About Five, five months, months. Five months. We have to shut. We have to to. We we have to get through a hard time for five months. Okay, Kha, so last year when you mentioned about the when the airport shut down. Yep. Uh, temporary for like five months. Five months. Yeah. What did you do? Airport shut down about four. Four or five months. Four, four or five months. Four or five months. We, you asked me how to do, <laughs> nothing to do. Nothing. Nothing. We have. We got through very, that very hard time for us, you know. In Samui, right? In Samui, because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people in the, for, for working in the, here, they move out, also move out to their hometown, like Chumphon, Nakonsi Thamala, Suratani, something like that. But we also just just maintain the restaurant, but lower the cost. Like I told you before that we have to uh, reduce uh, the timing of the, our, our staff. And to to pass two together, something like that. Any deliveries? We also for the delivery, we we also try to do that. But we still delivery, you know. Even now, if like within ten kilometer. And delivery by SCG to Bangkok. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that the one thing that if you are in Bangkok. If I'm in Bangkok. Yeah, in Bangkok, yeah. you want to eat, you can order, uh, to our our page. And we, we send by SCG Cool Express uh, to fish the, the food and send you to Bangkok. Like if you open, if, if, if we send it today, before, like, before, 
before noon uh, tomorrow uh, you can get it uh, can that's edit. perfect and now i would like to to know about do you have any um plan for the future as we know that the endemic is not coming any soon and especially um when the covid 19 first hit the island we lost chinese tourists yes and now with the russian and ukraine war yep. of course we will see less of the russian and ukraine ukrainian uh, tourists on the island but actually uh, our plan about this uh, we I think you gotta believe in the long-term potential of the island as a tourist destination. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's in our belief that Samui will always be a hot with tourist it, destination like um, in the long run. Mm -hmm. So if you have that conviction in the potential of the island, then I think it helps you see things much clearer. Now, I guess what we are exploring to do is one, obviously expanding the, the restaurant because it's been yeah. doing really well. Right. Um, and we are exploring bringing new food concepts, dining concepts to Samui. Um, actually, there's a plot of land next to it, but we are thinking of expanding, um, bringing in new food concepts to the island itself. And I think food aside, we are, we are actively considering of reopening the spa business, depending on how resilient the tourism industry is, mm -hmm. how fast it rebounds back to the previous level. But I would say that's a, that's a long way to go. To right. get back to pre-COVID um, situation. Regarding to the expansions of your business, would it be uh, hospitality, of course, but it will be in food industry. Would it be in the same cuisine, or it will be different? Different. Different. Uh, we we have we have a, we have some in pipeline, um, but different type of cuisine. Maybe Thai, but different concept. A Thai cuisine. Maybe non-Thai. Multiple target segments, I would say. Like you could, you could appeal to local ties traveling to Samui. Um, also, you could tap into the massive potential of Chinese tourists and even European tourists too um, in the future. I mm -hmm. think we do have some in the pipeline, and we are very excited to explore that going forward. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a year later, you come back. Definitely. Maybe we'll see something new. Um, Definitely area. come back if you invite me. <laughs> yeah, like for for example, that we we also thinking about uh, the let's see food fresh seafood market something like that yeah. I mean life life uh, life, uh, life. That's like what you can see like you want yeah. to eat this 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 fish we can catch it and do catch it for it, you sir. we cook for you uh, you want like a uh, squid for, uh, lobster. for lobster and for life we can take it that one for you we, that that also, we think about that plan. Also, um, how do you see the business on this island in general? Do you think that they are recovering right now? I think it's get better. It's getting yes, better. getting better, and because I think we we passed to the 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 worst, the worst the already, worst. and I think many people now even we still had the Omicron, mm -hmm. but. People also recognize that it's not maybe not uh, very severe. Yeah, right. and also not they severe. Are aware, of aware and not severe, but they think that this Omicron is not severely, severely that like like uh, we the just have to live Delta. With it and live our, and our yeah. life as well. Yeah. For this month, uh, we have booking group uh, about one hundred people booking group and. Last year is a every cook cancel, but this year this is a year. Confirmed. They definitely come. They're yeah. coming back. Yes. Regardless, bits bits, not cancel. They're coming back. Yeah. And since you're doing your business on this paradise island, Samui Islands, of course, you know, to come here, we have to directly fly to Samui. Yep. Um, what would you like to say to here? Uh, to pass it to the related organization to to ease or to facilitate uh, the business in Samui Island. I think the business in this island we also have we also thinking that 
if the we can get support from the government right. or the the owner of the ally because now everybody know that only one ally can be here yeah uh, it's the bank Bangkok airway and if the Bangkok airway can you know increase the fight also reduce the price because it's very I think not even for the Thai people for the but also for the foreigner that they feel that it's very expensive to to be here and if they can reduce the price also increase the the, the fright that I think help a lot but also that the the government uh, how to say the promotion the government measures yeah what would you like them to Thai Thai or Thai 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 people to be here that I think this this mission is the hell a lot that will help revive hell, hell yeah island. and people will like they like to be here mm. and last what will be your advice for people who are doing uh, the business on this island or for people who are doing the business that rely heavily on the um, tourism industry what would be your advice to have a sustained yeah. um, type of business? I, I think first of all, you know, we just want to say hang in there. Hang um, in it's, there? It's, it's been a long and lengthy journey, but the only way is up, right? I think we've, we've passed the, 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 the worst, worst the of worst. COVID. Mm -hmm. um, so the only way is up. Yep. Just got to keep your eyes fixed on what you want to get, what, where you want to be. Um, and, and I would say like, the secret to like, any successful business is right. being very customer centric, understanding what they seek for, how you could, how you could best deliver your product or service to the customers. Yep. Um, and, and I think the, the last takeaway is more like, you know, based off these past two years that we've seen, never stand still, right? Like even, even when the airport shut down, um, we, we do take time to make improvement on our business. So never stand still, because the moment we stop thinking, the moment we stop doing things, that's essentially when we say yes to new competition. So we always need to keep, move, keep moving forward. I, would say. I, I think like that's the, the biggest takeaway we've learned from the pandemic itself. Mm -hmm. Just like what we've heard, turn the crisis into opportunities. Exactly. 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 And that's all for Voice of the Nation today. Special um round table so stay tuned with us monday to friday 8 to 8 30 p.m for now swadika